Hey guys, I wanted to do a little side-by-side -side comparison of the Jellyfish UFO video that was released by Jeremy Corbell in early January 2024. His video says it was recorded in October 2018, but based on what we found, that's impossible because some of the structures in the video uh, are not present at that time. They were removed, um, and I'm going to show you that in a sec. Uh, Michael Sinkowski was a ISR tactical controller at this airbase, Al Takadam um, Air Base, and he made some comments on YouTube um, about this video, this jellyfish video, saying that when he arrived at the base, um, it had already been filmed, and it was, I guess, early 2018, January 2018, when he got there, and this uh, video had been filmed before he got there. And he said it was filmed from their aerostat balloon system. It's like a tethered reconnaissance balloon, which we believe was tethered right here on this uh, um, spot. So that's kind of where we're starting with the video. And then the actual location that they were aiming at was this other camp to the north of the balloon. And that's where I'm starting the video comparison. Uh, Mick West of uh, Metabunk had done some calculations using his uh, situation recreation tool a sit rack and he uh, determined that the camera was most likely about uh, 2,460 feet above the ground um, to create the proper slant angle um, seen in the video and based on where the tether was for the balloon the estimate is about 3.47 kilometers from the camp that they were filming this object. So that's kind of the parameters that I used. Um, I used uh, two focal lengths with the virtual camera that is built in. Um, I'm starting with a 6,000 millimeter lens and then I'm cutting to a uh, 3,000 millimeter lens to just kind of judge uh, based on the video if it's um, anywhere close. I added some 3D elements to the 2D map that simulate these trailers and tents and HESCO barriers to the approximate size and then map to the actual Google Earth map. And I'm starting here about 15 seconds in, just queued up to this uh, one section of trailers. I use the timing from those trailers to the opposite side of the base as the basis of seeing if I could uh, get the same field of view and the same angle that uh, the original camera had. Right there I switched to the 3,000 meter lens. Here you can see these tents I added and I mean it looks approximately the same field of view and the same angle um, as the original here. Um, you can see these buildings at this airbase. It's definitely the same location. Some of these uh, buildings such as these tents were not there as early as January 2018. So I'm not trying to prove anything with this video. I'm just trying to show that this is the actual location um, that this was filmed at based on Google Earth on the right here. One new piece of data, um, somebody found a flag in that little structure there that you just saw. And the direction of the wind seems to be the same as the object as far as the way the flag's flying.